Dear brothers and sisters, Calvary greetings in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to today's online Church of Uganda devotion. And our topic for today is drawn from the gospel according to John, chapter 1, verses 29 to 36. And our topic is the Lamb of God our savior the lamb of god our savior now let us pray father king of kings we thank you bless you and glorify your name lord as we enter into your word holy spirit will you guide us in your name i pray amen Brothers and sisters, our theme for today, or our topic for today, is the Lamb of God, our Savior. Now, when we look at this Gospel of John, especially this chapter 1, we see John is describing exactly who Jesus is and what he did for us. And so when we come now into this very particular text, we see that John is building from the different descriptions of Jesus that he has had. First of all, he begins by saying or telling us Jesus as the word. That is in chapter 1 verse 1 and in verse 8 we see him referring to Jesus as the light, the true light for everyone. And, and in verse 18 we see him now being referred to as the begotten son. And then in verse 20 we see him being referred to as the Christ. Now here comes now another term that John uses, the Lamb of God. Now, when Jesus, when John comes and talks of the Lamb of God, what does it mean and why does he use it specifically for us to understand? Now, we see that here John comes with affirmations and assures the audience that he himself is not Christ. He is just a voice. He is just a vessel that is being used to declare that one who is coming, you know, God's voice to the people. He was baptizing with water. But Father also makes an assurance to them that there is one among them whom they do not know. But you see, it is so surprising that even John himself, much as he knew uh, Jesus uh, before the baptism, but he did not know exactly whether he is the one that was to be revealed to Israel, you know, to be the savior to Israel. Now, in our particular verses for today or the scripture reading for today, we find that uh, in verses uh, 29, there are two key things that we have to look at in this portion of, of the verse. Number one, John talks about the Lamb of God, you know. He says, look, the Lamb of God. When we refer back to the Old Testament, we find that lambs were basically used as offerings for the cleansing of sins. And this was not to take away the sins, but it was for forgiveness. And this uh, offering of lambs for the forgiveness of sins was done voluntarily. In other words, it bore a redemptive power and it was used as a substitute for the atonement of sin. Now, when John is referring to Jesus as the Lamb, number one, it reflects who Jesus is and what he did in obedience to the Father. The next part, he says, who takes away the sins of 
the world you know this uh, taking away the sins of the world brings us attention to the words uh, that were spoken in prophet uh, by prophet Isaiah when we read uh, in Isaiah chapter 53 that is about the suffering servant and now he tells us uh, he describes Jesus as the one who bears the sins of the people of Israel Therefore, this lamb wasn't just uh, sacrificed for the forgiveness of sins, but was to bear all the sins and the shame of human beings, the sin of humanity. So this lamb was to carry it and take it away. So this helps to understand that our sins, or we as sinners, we can only be redeemed by our Savior, whom John is here referring to us, the lamb now when we come down now to verses 30 and 31 we see john's excitement about the savior who he did not know was actually the one who was to be revealed to israel in verse 30 john gives the assurance to the people who had gathered and this is actually the firm foundation or the sound affirmation that he gives. He says, this is the one I meant, you know, when you refer to the previous verses, especially from verse 20 through 27. He was asked so many questions and he was explaining, trying to tell them who he is and who he is not and who is that one that is coming. But probably people were not understanding him or even those who are understanding him were not believing and what did they want they actually wanted the sign and so in verse that one john tells us that he did not know that the jesus he knew was the jesus that was to be revealed to israel and thus when he says that uh I myself did not know him, but the reason I came baptizing with water was that he might be revealed to Israel. So his baptism with water wasn't just for the sake, but was to make this Jesus Christ, this lamb, to be revealed to Israel. Now, when we come to verses 32 to 33, we see that John tells of how he now understands that the Lamb was the Savior. He comes now with different signs in form of a dove. And this is where we see that he is now telling the congregation, telling the crowd of the different signs that he was given. When you read verse uh. 33, he says, And I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, The man whom you see the Spirit come down and remain is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. In other words, he was told that sign that when he sees that dove or the holy spirit descending and remaining on him that would be the person and so here he is speaking with excitement oh yes that now i have known he is the lamb he is the savior brothers and sisters sometimes we will be told but we will see when what we have been told has been revealed unto us and so this john now saw with his own eyes and he was so excited now when he comes to verse 34 we see that john says i have seen and i testify that this is god's chosen one in other words john is so excited yes that now i can affirm i can believe the lamb of god is now the savior the one revealed to israel the one that is to take away the sins of the world not just to forgive but to take and take away completely brothers and sisters are you still in disbelief
Oh no, it is time for us to believe. When we read verses 35 to 36, we see now here John saying that he was again with his two disciples and his words that he declares in verse 36 towards the end, he says, Behold the Lamb of God. And that behold made these two disciples to let John be and decided to follow Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, are you following people? Are you following teachers of the word? Are you following prophets? Or you are following the person that these people are declaring? Will you today choose to follow the Lamb of God that is being declared by the prophets, by the preachers, because they are just voices like John was a voice. John was a forerunner. Do not put all your hope and trust in these forerunners, but put your hope and trust in the person, in the Lamb that they are declaring. May you today believe that the Lamb of God is the Savior. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, we thank you and we pray that shall we continue to follow the Savior, the Lamb that John declared that yes, he is our Savior and our Redeemer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.